the base will be neutralized and when I keep adding acid beyond that then I will have an overall acidic pH because there is no base to neutralize it there is only acid in the solution and water which is neutral so I will have an overall acidic pH but this time the acid acidic pH is also high which means this is a weak acid because weak acids have a higher pH than strong acids so you can see that this is very close to 7 which means it's a very weak acid and if I had to look at the equivalence point which is the midpoint then if I have if I go here if I draw a straight line from here then yeah I get uh, the equivalence point over here and this time you will see that the equivalence point is above 7 it is above 7 which means it is more towards the basic side which means that the base is dominating over the acid now if the base is dominating over the acid it's because the base is strong while the acid is weak so this is a pH curve for uh, between uh, for the reaction between a weak acid and a strong base so um, you have to learn how these curves look like it can also the starting can also be from an acid but then again it will be completely opposite it will go like this instead of like this so it will go like this it will go like this instead of going like this so uh, and here we, instead of acid we will have volume of base or alkali added so you have to remember how these curves look like to get a good grade so that, that's the curve that that is the pH curve another pH curve and now let's move to the last pH curve so the last pH curve is here and it's the pH curve between a weak acid and a weak base now you can see that the starting pH is very low which means the base is a weak base and the end pH is very high which means the acid is a very weak acid so and um, if we draw the equivalence point it will be very difficult to draw the equivalence point but it will be somewhere here because like uh, you can see there is no vertical portion but again since both are weak since both are weak there will none can dominate over the other so again we will have just like the strong acid and strong base we will have the equivalence point close to 7 because none can dominate over the other in this case so we will have an equivalence point close to 7 and uh, that's it for the pH curves now let's look at indicators and now let's understand the importance of the equivalence point so uh, an acid base indicator as you know gives the color change when a specific within a specific pH range so for example when we were starting with the base let's take this example when we were starting with the base the acid base indicator will have some color inside it so let's take litmus for example so litmus is blue inside the base and as we keep adding acid and as soon as the neutralization point is crossed then we have red color we have we see a red color because litmus is red in acids litmus is blue in alkalis or bases and litmus is red in acids so we see a color change as acid is added to the alkali so now let me tell you what is happening during this color change the, at the equivalence the color change takes place at the equivalence point so a, an indicator can give a color change within one U pH unit from the equivalence point so if this is 7 this can be uh, not not 1 uh, it will be around 7.5 and this will be around 6.5 so it will give a color change between these two pH values because the equivalence point is 7 so all different indicators like methyl orange bromothymol blue uh, phenolphthalein or litmus all of these indicators have uh, give color change over different pH ranges so I have you uh, the indicator that will be used in this case will give a color change within the within the pH range of 6.5 to 7.5 it always happens over a range of one pH unit and the equivalence point should be between the range which should be the mean of the range so I will choose an indicator for this reaction for a strong acid and a strong base I will choose such an indicator that it gives a pH change within this pH range then for a strong acid and a weak base uh, let's take the, for the example this is 5 so this will be 5.5 this will be 4.5 so for this uh, for this reaction I will choose an indicator 
which gives me a color change uh, which gives me a change in the in the range of 4.5 to 5.5 because uh, the equivalence point is 5 so it has to give me a color change close to the equivalence point